Welcome back. Thought I'd do another exciting battery test today. It's the BTY AAA rechargeable nickel metal hydro batteries. Um, these just have uh, on the label 1000, which I suppose indicates that they're uh, 1000 milliamp hours, but it doesn't actually say that on the um, wrap itself, but it does give you some charging speeds and times. So what I'm going to do is compare them to some higher priced, good quality batteries. You'll see the BTYs are a little bit smaller than the other ones that I have here. Another giveaway is the weight of the cells. And the first BTY I put on is 8 grams and the second one also 8. Then if I go to the AnyLoop, 12 grams and 13 for the Sony. So weight is a factor with batteries. You're definitely going to see a difference um, with that. As far as the runtime goes, practical test on the BTY battery, and you can see it dims very quickly, and the overall runtime isn't very good at all. I get about 15, 16 minutes out of that before it dies, compared to the nearly 50 minutes off of a good quality battery. On to the capacity test. Both of these came in under 200 milliamp hours uh, in actual capacity, discharge capacity, whereas the Sony came just under the 900 and the AnyLoop over 750, so there's a big difference in terms of quality. I certainly wouldn't waste money on buying these, even if someone gave them to you for free. The performance is so poor that they're just not worth using. They're just a complete waste of time, very much like the BTY AA cells that I tested. They're just very poor. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.